I'm the Geeky Guy from Amelia Scott Designs, and for a little while now, Christine has been asking me to record a video for you folks. It's all about CDs, folders, and files. Now, since this is my taxes, and since this has nothing to do with computers, I'm going to make a command decision and get rid of those. We will go to the computer now, and I'm going to show you how to move files from one place to another and answer the phone at the same time. So here I am at the computer with my Windows desktop. And yes, I was just joking about the phone. I let someone else answer at that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open a Windows Explorer window. Now that's different. Windows Explorer is different from Internet Explorer. Windows Explorer is the one that's down here on my screen. It shows up right at the bottom. Looks like a file folder. Not everyone has that icon at the bottom of their screen all the time. So I'm going to show you the easy way to get there. You come to the start menu and yes, I am running Windows 7. I have not made the move to Windows 8 yet. I'll probably do that sometime soon. Don't know. Okay, so I click the start menu and I come up here and I'm going to go to my computer. And that opened up a window for me that shows the different devices on my computer. And when I pop my CD in my CD drive, the CD is going to show up right up here in just a second. And here it is. It shows up as a CD. I can click on the edge to edge book and it shows me the files on my CD. That's what I want to see. This is what a USB storage device typically looks like. Now, there are a couple of different configurations of these that you'll typically see. There's this one, or there's this kind of USB device, or they can often look like this. Now, you also hear them called all kinds of different names, like a jump drive, a thumb drive, a USB drive, um, or a memory stick, or for the really technical people, a sticky thing. So you want a device that looks like this, not like this, that's a different kind of sticky thing. Now, one other aside, that's what USB devices normally look like, but people are getting really inventive out there with their USB devices, and now you can get them that look almost like uh, pretty much anything at all. For example, a donut, or a thumb for really odd people who want, really want a thumb drive. And then, of course, there's the cute teddy bear thumb drive that looks like this when you're storing it, and looks like this when it's in use. There you go, very inventive people. Now, back to the main thing we were doing. So I've got my CD in the drive. I've got my files for the CD on my showing up on my Windows Explorer. I shall now plug my USB to my USB slot. And it pops up a menu like this. Most of the time that will show up. Asking, the computer is asking me, hey, I found a USB drive. What do you want to do with this? I'm going to click the link that says open folder to view files, because I want to do that. And lo and behold, it opens up another window, Windows Explorer, calls it a removable disk, because that's another name for it. That's what the computer calls it. Now, I'm going to come back over here to the file or to the folder, sorry, with the CD uh, files. And I'm going to open up the, uh, this, this happens to be the uh, CD for Amelia Scott Designs Edge to Edge Quilting on Your Embroidery Machine. Uh, it's the CD that comes along with our book. If you don't have one, you need to have one if you have an embroidery machine because you can do great things, quilt your quilts like you would with a long armor with a regular embroidery machine. So I am going to select the Bernina files and I'm going to select the two files that I want. I want to use the boardwalk files. I'm going to select the large A and large B files. The way I did that was I clicked on the first one. I held down the shift key and I clicked on the second file I wanted. And as you see, they are both highlighted. Now I will click 
hold down, keep holding down the mouse button, and I'm going to drag them over here to the removable drive, the USB memory stick. And now I release the mouse button and it's copying those files over onto the USB memory stick. There you have it, it's done. Now I need to get the USB stick out of the computer. I could just pull it out of there, but that's not good practice. So I'll come over to here to where the icon is for the removable disk. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna come down here to eject. That's what tells the computer, hey, I'm done using this, let it go. And you see the message down here, it's safe to remove hardware, safe to remove the USB stick, so it let it go. And now I pull it out and I am ready to take this USB stick over to my embroidery machine, pop it in the embroidery machine and begin quilting a quilt as if it were a long arm. You can do this with any kind of files, of course. I just happened to show you some of ours. Okay, the next section of this video is going to be very easy because we've actually covered all of the important things that you need to know how to do in the last section, but we'll go through it anyways. So I have my CD and I've popped it in my CD drive already and I'm going to show that on my Windows desktop. So I come down here to the start menu and I come up to computer because that's where my files are. My, sorry, my CD shows up as part of my computer and I can double click on it and there are all the files on that CD. Good. Now I, just like last time, I need another window that will show the folder on my computer where I want to store those files. So I'm going to come back to the start menu. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to come up this time to documents because I've created a folder in my documents library that I'm going to use for storing these embroidery files. Now I created that earlier just by clicking the new folder button right here. It created an empty folder for me. I gave it a name and now I'm ready to use it. You see that the folder is empty. Not for long. I'm going to come back over to the window for my CD. I want to work with the large embroidery files, so I'm going to double click on that. Now, I also know that I have a Bernina 880 machine, so I'm going to use the EXP files. Now, I'm going to pause for a second. Those are the files I want, but I've actually seen it a number of times where people just kind of take all of the files on the CD and drag them over to their computer. There's nothing particularly wrong with that, but um, if you do that now and then, no problem. But if you do that a lot, you're actually going to end up with thousands of files clogging up your computer that you never use. So I'm going to just select the file folder that has the fo files that I need. I'm going to double click on that to open it. And then I'm going to select the files I want. I want to copy all of the uh, Bernina format files, all of the EXP files that are on this part of the CD. So I clicked on the first one to select it. And oops, I thought I wanted to rename it. I'm not going to do that. And then I drag my slider down. I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to click the last file in the list. And as you see, it highlighted all of them. It has selected all of those files. Now, I bring my mouse pointer over top of one of the icons. You could click in other places, but hitting the icon is an easy way to make sure you get it right. I'm going to click and hold down my mouse button, and I'm going to drag it right up here. That's the folder where I want to store the files. Now you notice that right below my mouse pointer, it says it's going to copy files to that file folder. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So now I release the mouse button, the CD spins, magic happens, and voila, the files are over here. So I now have a copy of the files on the computer where I want to store them. It's just that easy. 
Now I can close the windows and you now know how to move files around and it really does not matter whether you move them from a CD to your computer, a CD to your jump drive, or from your computer to your jump drive. The process is always the same. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Thanks. Bye.